box zero tomorrow one. Good morning guys, I didn't really vlog much this morning since I woke up because actually it was a little bit of a sad morning after last night which was very sad I woke up like my eyes were hurting so much and my lips like get swollen and my nose when I cry so it was very sad and then in the morning I was sad extra because today I'm saying goodbye to my boyfriend as you can see I'm alone and now we won't see each other I don't even know how long because basically I'm flying to LA today with you guys we're going for a Tom Ford event which is taking place tomorrow and then we're flying to London and then the problem is at the moment there's some sort of quarantine situation in London so I will have to stay in London until I'm out of quarantine and I need to even understand what is the situation and yeah that's the situation right now first things first let's get excited for LA I'm speaking here because the plane is like massive and loud and I'm sure you will still be able to hear that shh noise. I ran to make it again like what is it with the US flights for me? Basically what happened is even though I allowed like two hours which for a domestic flight is more than you need in the States. The problem is even the like priority lane was so busy first for the baggage drop and then for the security clearance and then I had like after the security I had two big business calls that I had to take care of and I didn't realize that like two five terminals inside of the Miami airport so mine was like D then I have to go walk all the way to the end which took like 20 minutes so I didn't have time for snacks or anything like that and when it's a very big plane they usually start uh, boarding it more than half an hour before and closing the door sooner because there's a lot of space to fill I'm not gonna bore you with that I'm hoping there's gonna be some internet on this plane and I'm hoping that I'm recording yes because I have like things to do and then when we arrive in LA it's six hour flight I didn't even buy any snacks Oh, thank you so much for switching it off now. Like you, you see, like you will now be able to witness the difference in sound because that like AC that they have on the planes is so loud, you know? That's why I never really vlog on planes. But yeah, we will have a whole day in LA, hopefully, to make it up to you with vlogging. that you guys we are back at LAX it's actually Christmas here let me show you I don't think I've ever seen this before in LA it is Christmas and finally I have a little bit of time just a little bit because I don't want to not get my luggage to get some snacks let's do this
it and it's like, look at this. Oh, it's not so cold anymore. It was cold. I mean, it's very foggy. Certainly not what I expected from LA. Comparing to Miami, it's freezing. Miami 20 beach, 24 degrees. Oh, it's only, it's 15 degrees, it's not that cold. But I literally was like, yeah, you see? It is cold, okay. I'm jumping in the car, going to the hotel. Well, I mean, at least the weather is nice. Can't see anything. <laughs> Completely foggy, but I, I don't really mind. I'm so happy that I'm here, guys. I cannot even tell you. Like properly here, not just in the airport, you know what I mean? I'm happy that I'm entering the city and we're going to the West Hollywood right now. First things first. Okay, I can see some sun, some blue sky. This is making me happy. I see some light. I can see further down as we're entering into the city. Hello, LA ahead. I'm so happy. Guys, we arrived. Wait, am I in focus? Probably not. I even have a chair. I can sit here and you guys can see me. By the way, these are for sure my favorite track pants that I have right now. The Mongler Pile Mangels that I just bought in Miami. And this is the Caravaggio Off-White hoodie that I'm so happy now I brought because um, it's obviously off-white, so virtual. What did I want to say? First things first. Oh, the hoodie, by the way, is old. I got it like during log first lockdown ever. So at the airport, I got these. They're finished basically. There's just a few left. I love these so much. They're probably like a billion calories, but like who cares? I love them so much. And of course, some water because I was super thirsty. I arrived. We're staying at the Sunset Tower, which is like one of the coolest, kind of like a vintage old Hollywood style. Hotels. I arrived and received some packages. I literally have no idea what's in there. There's some beautiful flowers as well. But first things first. Actually, the camera is on one of the packages. Wait, let's change the frame a little. <laughs> let's change the frame. I don't know what this is. Like, I'm trying to think. I don't remember telling anybody I'm staying here, but I'm, you know. Ah, it's a COVID test. It arrived from the agency, like the like PR agency that I often work with. So I was like, maybe it's the invite to the event. But I think it's just the test so that we can get tested before we actually go to the party, which is uh, taking place tomorrow, I believe, which is very good, of course, because I mean, I arrived, I'm so happy. I just spoke to my boyfriend. I'm so sad. Like, I mean, we spent what, like a few days together, but I'm like, I'm so sad. I'm not gonna see you now for a few days. But the reason is they're not like closing the borders. So he just called me. I don't know if it's a rumor, but he doesn't usually tend to spread, to spread rumors. He just called me to tell me that the Balkans got closed. He was like, oh, um, the countries are getting closed now because of this new variant. And, uh, you know, like things are changing, blah, blah, blah. He was gonna stay longer in the US. Now he's not staying longer in the US. And we were, well, we were gonna come back to the States, actually. I was gonna be part of Vlogmas, kind of separately, but together. Now I just don't think that that's likely to happen. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy, let me tell you that. Now, let me try and change the frame. I have one more pack to open. Is this gonna work? A bit of a different angle. The only annoying thing is that there's that back light. But I'll show you. What is, who is this from? The camera is so high up now. It is what it is. Oh, I don't want to break the nail. Santa baby. Oh, why is this so hard? Oh. It's something from uh, me. I could have just opened it nicely, but no, I completely decided to destroy the box. Ta-da! Box zero. Tamara one. I got a massive something from Tom Ford. Let's see what's in here. But actually, before I do, let me just show you a little bit outside of my little balcony, which is, by the way, so cute. Oh my God, does this open? And yes, it does open, but actually it's a window. 
that I love. I need to make sure that I definitely close it as this is my neighbor's room. So, yeah. Welcome back to LA. I'm so happy to be here. Okay, guys, so what you, I think, don't know, or you do know, I think I told you. Anyway, in LA, I'm basically a guest of Tom Ford. There's a big event tomorrow night, as I said briefly now. Oh my god, guys, there's so many products here. They asked me, like, what are some of my favorite products, like, to kind of name them, and I named a few, but I didn't expect to receive, like, a billion. I am so excited because A, I haven't been in LA for so long, B, I basically literally love LA events. I need to wash my hands now because I just touched my shoes. Why do I complicate my life so much? Actually, will I ever have normal? Washing almost done. Hold on, hold on. I'm coming back. No, I'm more comfy. I was saying, I'm a guest of uh, Tom Ford. I love LA events, even though I believe, I think I'm the only European influencer coming for this event. So I'm very, feeling like very, very, very privileged. And I received, oh my God, Tom Ford, this is my favorite candle. This is, by the way, candle, lost cherry, love the fragrance, love, 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 love the candle so much. There are so many products here. First, I'm gonna try and find some of my favorites. Oh my God, so I can show you. So there is Shade and Illuminate. It says intensity 0.5, but I think I was intensity two, but this looks about right. So it's basically like a sculpting palette. Then there's an eye color, eye quad, which is in like these brownish colors, but, ooh, I think, you guys remember this one, I mentioned it so many times. Golden Mink, love it! I love recently a bit more, what is it called? Glittery Eye. Then, these are all, like, there's one that I really love using, like, I think it's called the Something Fox. Oh my god, I also love this. These are all the palettes that I use, like Honeymoon. I remember, this is like a wet or dry one, and I've used it so much. Insane. What is this? Traceless foundation stick in Tony. That's my shade. Loves it. It's basically a stick foundation. Let's see what else is here. There's a lot of lipstick and we guys, we know how I feel about Tom Ford lipsticks. I think the only lipstick that I've got with me on this trip is a Tom Ford lipstick and it's the one from the new collection, which is called... It's from the like... Soleil Neige, is that what it's called? Well, I love a good nude. So we have nude number one, neutral party, and four, insane. Like, it's a little bit darker nude. I'm just putting it there so I can film it later, but you're watching it as I'm speaking. Then, sugar glider. Hello, sugar glider, let's see. Ooh, this is more like grayish nude. Can't wait to show you, sugar glider, insane. Love it. Who's gonna pack all of this later? I love to unbox all of this, create a lot of mess. And then <laughs> we were at this beach the other day and there was someone, oh my God, this new, this insane. Sable smoke, yeah, of course, one of my favorites, sable smoke. We're at the beach and there was a lady, like she would take off her clothes and she had someone who just like goes behind her and folds everything. And my boyfriend said, that's what I need in my life. And he's not wrong, that's the worst thing. Oh my god, there are so many lippies. Blush Nude, I remember this one very well. Also stunning nude, but it's probably one of the lightest ones here. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Let's see, let's see. Sable Smoke has been one of my favorites, like, since... Oh my god. Bad Lieutenant. I've never seen this one before, and I think this is going to be a favorite of all, Bad Lieutenant. Keep that in mind. I still love the one um, that I brought with me the most, I think. Well, we'll see. Pink Charade. And the smell of Tom Ford lipsticks is like delicious. That's all I can say. And then the last is in Blazing Kiss. I love that. Ooh, it's the darkest one of all. So I'm gonna show that to you now. It's like looking so pretty. Let's see. So I'm trying to show you everything because I'm like sharing is caring. Traceless foundation I mentioned. I've shown you gloss. Gloss? Gloss? I never had Tom Ford gloss. What? Excuse me, are these all glasses? I never had a Tom Ford lip gloss in my life. So this one that I've just opened is Bare Ast. Love it. Then we have Sunrise Pink, stunning. Then we, yes, this is what I'm gonna apply right away. We have a perfect Hollywood shade in the buff with the golden particles, the nudest one of all also. And we have 
the darkest one, which is Honey the Corel. And these are like kind of heavy. I'm gonna apply this one right away. The brush is like the heart shaped sponge brush. I'm sorry for my appearance. Oh my god. I'm sorry for my appearance. I traveled, I flew for six hours. I need a shower and a drink. It's been an intense week. And then here, Extreme Mascara. Mm, I don't think I really used Tom Ford mascara before, or have I? I can't remember. This smells and feels so good with this gloss, and I love a good gloss. This is so nice. Thank you so much to the Tom Ford team for these beautiful gifts. I'm very, very excited. Tomorrow night is going to be all about a fragrance that I will show you. I also want to try this one. Is it too late to apply it over the other gloss? Do you guys have a problem ever applying a gloss over a gloss, you know, to contaminate the brush? This is so stunning. Love it. They're like three glittery ones and one which is not glittery. Insane. I never ever saw these before. That's that. I'm gonna try it now. Ah, oh, my bag's never arrived. And I think I've been in this room for a while. Well, that's a bit unusual. Hi, this is Tamara Kalinich. Um, my bags never arrived to my room. Is there any yes, chance? Yes, give me a, allow me a couple minutes. We'll be right up. No problem, no rush. Just wanted to make sure they're coming. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I need my bags in order to have a shower and to get ready, and I need also to do some work. I haven't uploaded actually any stories from yesterday because I was trying to process everything. So that's what I'm gonna do now, and then I can enjoy LA. What I really want to do while I'm here, I want to go to Anita Co. Boutique, which is on Sunset Boulevard, which I assume is going to be very close because this is called Sunset Tower Hotel. And I want to go to Alfred's, like, as an emergency, because I want to buy some stuff. And then if my suitcase is so overloaded that I cannot literally, like, bring anything, I'm just going to leave stuff in LA because my boyfriend's coming in two days, so I can leave it here and then he can bring it back to Europe. And I have three suitcases, so, yeah, I have problems. Okay, guys, it's already evening. I didn't realized time's going so freaking fast we came to this like little coffee place called i'm sure you guys know it it's called the butcher the baker the cappuccino maker it's on sunset and it's like a very weird light like the sky is kind of purpley foggy i'm still in my track pants we just had a little cappuccino and a ketchup and i'm gonna walk back to the hotel to get ready for dinner I will try and vlog that a bit better, but just show you my face. The face is still the travel face. I need to really work on it a little bit, so let's go back to the hotel. Well, hello again. I had one hour to rest a little bit in the room, which was very much needed. I just wanted a little bit of like quiet time. And when I say that, I know it sounds really crazy, but from the moment I wake up to this kind of time in the day, it's 7 p.m. by the way in LA, it's really like... It's just non-stop because the moment I wake up, there's a bunch of emails that I have to like respond to, Whatsapps, everything, like social media posts. There's just so much going on and it's really hard because usually I wake up before the world wakes up when I'm in Europe or even in Asia. And that's something I'm missing. But anyway, I had a shower. I got... Didn't get dressed. <laughs> I had a shower. Let's start that again. I did my makeup. Basically just kind of retouched it a little bit. Same as same as before. However, on my eyes, you will notice I've got different eyeshadow. This is Sus Le Sable, something like that from Tom Ford, the new one, the kind of milky one. And on my lips is Bad Lieutenant. It looks a little bit washed out on camera. I'm watching it because I don't have a viewfinder on this camera because it's quite a better quality camera. But I promise it's divine in real life. I really, really love it. Foundation is the traceless foundation in Tony and that's basically it. I've got some NARS blush and I forgot like my bronzer so I've got uh, on Huda Beauty like contour thingy bob I don't even know what it is. So that is it. I'm gonna get dressed but I'm super uninspired because usually for me LA is the type of a city where I would like to wear baggy pants, boots, crop tops and oversized jackets. That's just LA for me in my head but Tonight I want to get dressed up and I want to wear like maybe even a pair of heels though I literally only brought baggy pants or short skirts and I think it's a little bit cold for short skirt. Mixed with jet lag, I'll be freezing and shivering, which is never a good thing. So let's see how this is gonna work out. We're going to Delilah's and then Soho House. So yeah, which is great because everything's just around the corner. I was procrastinating so much, like, oh, I don't know what to wear, I don't know what to wear. And then I got dressed up in two minutes. Let me see if I can show it to you better. Can you see me? Okay, maybe. There's so much mess in the background, wait. I should pretend, I will pretend that this is not a hair. Let's just pretend. I don't need this, I don't need any of these. 
Let's just pretend you never saw it, okay? Let's pretend. Oh, am I even in focus now? Let's see. Hi. Okay, kinda. I hope so. Anyway, so if I'm not in focus, I'm sorry, but it's impossible. I'm running late. So I'm wearing the Margiela jeans that you guys know and love. We'll link them below. The Nancy Doyaka top that you've seen in my Black Friday haul. We'll also link it be below. And the Prada jacket with my green Manolos. And green green. Ah! <laughs> Wait. Don't rush, don't rush, if, like, don't rush, basically. Green Mini Kelly, Green Manolos, hello. And um, that's basically the look tonight. I need a lipstick, that's it, I need my cards. I need, because you know, they're never gonna believe I'm 21. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, and also I don't drink, so who cares, especially not when jet lagged. So I need my wallet, which is actually still here. My wallet, done. Check. A mask, probably. Check. I had a Tom Ford one. Here it is. I'll bring that. And wallet, phone. That's it. I think I'm gonna bring the other camera. This one's way too big to bring. And it's not gonna fit in my... Oh! Coming down! Sorry, was vlogging, which is not even a lie. Right? A witness, or many of you. 200,000 witnesses. Even almost 300,000 witnesses. Okay, mask. Mm, I'm not gonna bring a whole wallet just because Mini Kelly is not the most, you know, ideal for that. So card ID and you guys, you need to come with me. I'm in focus, guys. I was just vlogging everything and I'm probably getting out of focus. This is highly annoying. I just vlogged something for so long describing everything and it was just out of focus. And I don't like to refilm things because I don't feel it's authentic, so I'm sorry. But you might have to watch some snippets of the blurry footage now. Now, yeah. Also, you guys will now witness the first test of the Slim Batman Owls. So, let's see how comfy they are. Um, so far, so good. But, you know, I think that the test is important, right? are the portions of the state. So I ordered a salad with a side of cauliflower and mashed potatoes and like side of cauliflower is basically like the main dish. The salad's also like pretty ginormous, like compared to my hands. It's like basically massive. And my date of the night is gorgeous. We're just catching up and talking about terrible dates. <laughs> Early bedtime tonight. I mean, I say early, but I know when I'm speaking like this, slow and kind of like struggle to get words out it's because I'm jet lagged and that's how I know I'm jet lagged. never had any trouble with jet lag when it comes to like being sleepy and not being able to stay awake never like I can I can stay awake I can wake up as early as you need me to wake up I can do anything but my concentration goes really bad I cannot form proper sentences, my accents like all over the place, I struggle to actually explain what I mean, what I'm thinking, like it's very very tough and it's only 9 p.m. though it is midnight in Miami, yeah. So little test, these babies passed with flying colors, they're so comfortable, it's like insane that these are actually high heels so comfortable i really really strongly recommend them and love them and i love the color which by the way perfectly matches this bag look at this it's like made in heaven or like whatever match made in heaven i told you i'm struggling <laughs> and the worst thing is i need to tidy a little bit because otherwise i have nowhere to sleep on uh tomorrow we have like a fun day fun filled day we're going to go around LA a little bit, uh, lunch at Ivy, which is one of my faves here, then in at night we have that event that we're here for, and then the day after we're leaving back to Europe, but we still have like a full, another full day in LA, so it's okay. I felt like tonight's outfit was kind of great, it looks like an overhead thing, but I am. I really love this jacket, and I love this Nancy Doyaka corset.
it. Like, honestly, anything that Nancy does, I'm always like, yes, girl, you are killing it. So happy for her as well. She just won an award at British Fashion Awards. So I'm gonna overly moisturize my face right now because I feel like after all the flying, my face really needs it. And I'm gonna go to bed. But wishing you a lovely night if you're watching this in the evening and a beautiful day ahead if you're watching in the morning. Bye, guys.